Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I uh, finally got the Z out. It's finally weather. It's still March, early March, but it's a pretty decent weather to bring the car out. So uh, today's video is just gonna be today's video is just gonna be uh, about five things I love about my Z32. So I did make a video like this prior, but uh, that was like well over a year ago so it's a little outdated new stuff's been done to the car and I felt like I should probably make a more updated version to that video so first off I I want to uh, go with the front end for number one and uh, the reason I love the front end is just how sharp it is of course you got the Lamborghini Diablo headlights uh, super sleek and uh, yeah I love just the way the front end looks I love the way the headlights and the nose panel are uh, different parts so like this isn't uh, in the bumper this isn't in the hood I like how it's a separate piece uh, if you've seen this car before on the channel you'll know I have a Z emblem for that and then a Nissan one and I just keep switching between the two so that's why I like it you can get you know change it between different uh, panels so that's number one front end the second one is gonna have to be the entire rear end now I could just say the taillights or the headlights but I want to just put this all into one so uh, the rear end looks amazing arguably one of the more iconic uh, Japanese cars of the 90s with the taillights being super um, unique taillights being super unique uh, these are j-spec taillights so the bottoms are clears 300zx is written i don't know how well you can see it it's written in red whereas oem cars had them written in white and uh yeah you got the third brake pan uh the third brake light right here which adds onto the car and yeah, I just think the back of the car is really well done, and the way the, I love the way it looks. Uh, so number number three, the third thing I love about the car is uh, the handling. So the handling, it's an, an NA car, so it does not have the super high cast system that the the turbos do, which is basically just four wheel steering. But it still handles pretty well. The car's lowered on lowering springs. But uh, yeah, it handles really well. It handles back roads. It is fun to drive. Uh, that's number three, just the handling. Number four is the interior. I love the way the interior is. Of course, leather seats. I love the way you have all. Uh, all your cruise control, you have all the heating stuff right here. It makes it look like a jet. Okay, the stuff's covered by the steering wheel, but it makes it kind of look like a jet. How everything is right next to you rather than being in the center. So it's pretty cool to have everything right there. I know some super cars like the Supra has a similar like cockpit where it's really driver oriented. But I love the way everything is bars in case your driver is crazy you can hold on to that this is the the four seater so of course you got more room in the back to fit friends or but yeah and that's number four that is the interior and number five of course is the t-tops now I'm not gonna take them off right now because it's cold but um I'll put a picture up of how the car looks without the tops. And it looks, it looks pretty awesome. Really uh, Trans Am, Firebird-like. And driving with this car with the T-top off uh, feels amazing. I think T-tops are probably one of the better uh, options for a convertible. But those are five things I love about my car. Uh, honorable mention is just the way the sound 
the way the VG30 sounds. This is the VG30 DE. It sounds amazing in my opinion. And uh, that's just an honorable mention. I will be making more content on this car as the weather gets slightly warmer. Uh, a few videos I got lined up would be top five modifications for the car. Uh, maybe another walk around, just a more in-depth walk around of what's done to the car and maybe just like what I've done to the car through my ownership. Uh, there are a few other ideas I have for this just to make content on the car, but as of right now, those are my two ideas. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Leave a like, uh, comment, subscribe for more 300ZX content and car meet content once car meets start up. But uh, I appreciate all the support. Of course, uh, you can follow me on Instagram if you got any ideas or if you want to have like just want to see what I post on my channel on my Instagram account you can follow me at spiral garage and I'll see you guys in the next video